This is the new Foxier H7. H7. The H stands for... Hype. Yes. <laughs> Flight controllers with the H7 processor are not new, but the latest with Foxier has a number of other upgrades that may make it a worthwhile investment for your next build over its F7 brother. But before you order, let's go over the reasons on whether or not you're better off with an H7 or you can make do just fine with the F7. Foxier's new H7 flight controller. Here we have it compared to the F7 V4. And what do you notice about these two? First of all, the new H7 has pads that are a little bit bigger, but the entire thing is slightly physically larger. And the reason they do that is because one, they've upgraded to a USB-C. Two, they've added a lot more pads all around the edge for you to do all of the things that you want, including having a 10 volt pad because this thing has dual Bex. It also has a barometer. It can handle up to 8S voltage and it has the MPU 6000 gyro. They're able to fit all that good stuff. Now, the nice thing about it is that it is going to still use the same type of harness. So if you're used to using that for your builds, that is not going to change. You're still going to have the connector to the front, USB to the left side. The only difference is that it's going to be the USB-C. Now, as you can see, the USB-C does slit slightly taller, but not much. And it's pretty much even with this connector. So you're not going to have to worry about getting it squished into some tight builds. Um, so much at all. Now you have a very nice along the side, five volt ground R1T1 that you could use for a receiver. Then you have a 10 volt and a ground along with some T7 and R7. So if you're using something like an O3, you could go with that over there. Then you have your camera and VTX along with some more UARTs and five volts and grounds along the bottom. And you have your LED pads over on the side, ground LED and five volt right there. So the layout is managed very nicely and this is not a cheap flight controller at all. So if you are going to be able to afford something like this, you're gonna to wanna to go with like a Cinelifter. For a regular type build, this is gonna work for most people. The F722. All right, this is the new Foxier H7. H7. The H stands for Hell so fast. yes. Yeah, what is, so what seven stands for then? Uh, seven. Lucky like seven. Uh, what does a beta flight developer think? Is H7 needed? Is it a plus? So uh, maybe in like a longer run, Betaflight will have some code that requires H7, but this is not the case so far. So, so technically, it is faster, but you can't use the speed. Yeah, yeah, it's like way faster, but like for Betaflight, it doesn't matter. So, this may not be needed. You might not need to spend a hundred dollars yet if you're just flying five inch, but if you need dual backs a barometer if you want to be a weatherman with your quad oh yeah or if you want to fly ADAS so just like no one can really take advantage of ADAS yeah. speed beta flight can't take advantage of it. at the end of the day if you're into quads that need multiple high power accessories like externally powering camera systems GPS gimbals etc or you need the barometer or high voltage of 8S, then it's no brainer for the beefier H7. But if none of those apply to you, Foxier's F7 V4 has you covered at $65 versus $105 for the H7 dual back. Foxier has over the last two years become the leader in racing electronics and for many freestylers as well. Now they're offering multiple options to meet drone flyers needs at multiple price points. Now you have a top tier one and a lower tier one. It'd be nice if they had a budget tier one or maybe one with a built in receiver that would be even cooler. I'm really hoping that somebody makes a flight controller with the receiver so that it can be easier for our HD builds. Something like Ghost or Express LRS. Whoever does it first, I'm ready to buy about 10 of them. So the race is on. And also H is just sounds cooler than F. Like what the fuck is that F, you know? Yeah, F H stands for like fail, yeah. but H stands for... Hype. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs>